All right, let's take you back to our previous story where we told you that uh, the Federal High Court has dismissed an application filed by suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police, Abakiari, challenging the jurisdiction of the court to try him. We have joining us live uh, on the news for more on this development, Judiciary Correspondent Celestina Area to bring us up to speed. Celestina, what more do we know at this time? Okay, well, the court did not quite agree with uh, the Deputy Commissioner of Police. The court said that they had jurisdiction to entertain the case to hear and determine the charges against him. Mr. Bakary, in his defense, had said that uh, because the Police Service Commission had not conducted their own internal investigation against him, this court lacked the jurisdiction. He made reference to the NJC, how the NJC is the body that deal with judges if they have any petition or any allegation against them before such judge is being brought before any court of competent jurisdiction. But the justice always has said that uh, the Deputy Commissioner of Police cannot attribute the NJC to the PSC. But the court adjourned to 16th May for continuation of trial. And uh, Mr. Kiari is to also remain in the Kuje Correctional Facility till the continuation of trial. So far, he has also tried on different occasions to, to be granted bail by the court. The court on different instances have refused him bail. At the first time when he applied for bail, the court said that, uh, according to the prosecution counsel, noted that he is a flight risk, and as such, the court should not grant him bail. Uh, afterwards, he also made an application for bail, after which uh, Kujay Correctional Center was attacked by insurgents. He brought before the court an application stating that his life was no longer safe to stay in Kujay uh, Correctional Facility. But the court also noted that uh, looking at section 163 and 162 of the ACGA, that does not give the court the power to vary its condition because of the issues that was raised. But all these applications for bid that was made, he appealed to the court of appeal, but the court also refused to uh, obtain the judgment of the lower court because the court said that fresh facts as to why he should be granted bail was not brought before the trial, uh, the, the appellate court. So far, so good. The two convicted, uh, from what we heard from one of the counsels to the defendant as to why this uh, trial should be given an expedited hearing. Because two of the alleged defendants that were charged with Mr. Abake that pleaded guilty to the charges and was, they were sentenced to two years imprisonment, they will be finishing their sentence in no time. And Mr. Kerry and his co accused are still undergoing trial. But those defendants are, they are at the Sulaya Correctional Facility. They, they were not kept alongside Mr. Kerry. So, so, so also that the uh, issue should not arise. One of the, 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 the convicts, given his testimony, he was used as a persecution witness by the NDA. He noted that uh, uh, he bribed his way from the Enugu airport that the cocaine he brought into the country came from Brazil, from Brazil to Ethiopia, then from Ethiopia to Nigeria. When he got to Enugu airport, he bribed his way with the NDA officials there. So if you look at it, that was also an indictment on the part of the NDA. But after he bribed his way from the NDA, he was, he was apprehended by uh, the IRT uh, officials. So that was where the issue of tampering with evidence came in, when uh, he was alleged to have tampered with the evidence brought by the, the, the convicts when they were arrested and taken to the IRC in Abuja. So all of these issues were raised in court, and the court had done to lay succeed for continuation of trial. So now that the court has said that uh, the subject matter uh, of the case is within jurisdiction, what is next? Yes, trial is going to continue. Mr. Kiari will have to remain in the correctional center. Trial will continue. I think he's being taken away by the officers of the Nigerian Correctional Facility, taken back to the correctional center. He will have to remain there till trial continues May 16. So far, so good. Other of his fellow accused also filed application for bail, but they were also denied by the court. All right, we'll leave this conversation here now and uh, keep tabs with developments uh, with regards to that matter. Our correspondent, Celestina Area, bringing us to speed with developments uh, to that story.